Hi, my name's Jesse. I'm a senior scientist here in our genomic medicine unit, or GMU. So I'm a neuroscientist by training, and I've always been interested in the brain. And there's tons of neurological diseases that still have a really high unmet need. Therapy, though, I learned about more in grad school, and that was really cool to me because it poses a real paradigm shift for how we treat neurological diseases. We can really target the genes that are actually causing disease, and we can do this in a way where sometimes we can even use a one-time injection to express the good copy of that gene over years, decades, even potentially a lifetime. So I started at Santa Fe in 2020 as a postdoc, right after grad school. And it was a really weird time to start in the industry because it was COVID, but it was also cool because um, that's when the GMU formed. So we got to see a group of about six neuroscientists grow to a group of almost 20. And the number of projects and the amount of data that we've generated since then is something that I'm incredibly proud to be a part of. So as a senior scientist, I'm supposed to spend about 50% of my time in the lab and the rest at my desk. So I'll be in the lab, I'll be running experiments, but then I'll also go back to my desk and I will analyze the data, figure out how to graph it, how to present it, what the message is. So there's the data side, but then there's also the all of the other stuff that goes into making all this data into one drug. We talk to clinicians to figure out what the clinical trial will look like. And really importantly, as early as possible, we actually talk to the patients. So we get input on what the biggest problems they have with their disease are, what types of treatments they'd like to see, and we use that information to really inform our drug discovery from the start. I really am. I think science communication is incredibly important, and I think as scientists, it's our responsibility to make sure that what we do is accessible to the patients that we intend to treat. The science can be incredibly complicated, even to someone who's well-trained. So finding the right way to explain that to the patients that are you know, entering our clinical trials, they're, they're doing us a service and we wanna make sure we're doing the same for them.